In this video, we will show you how to start and operate the envelope density setup for the MCR XX2E Compact Rheometer Series. First, unbox the envelope density setup. Unlock the powder flow cell from the cell holder by turning it counterclockwise. Install the glass tube by removing the funnel piece. Insert the glass tube and ensure sufficient scale visibility. Use safety equipment. Reassemble the measuring cell. Check tightness by reinstalling the measuring cell into the cell holder. Incorrect assembly will prevent the locking mechanism from engaging. If the measuring cell base is damaged or leaking, the permeable base plate must be replaced. Unscrew the lower part of the measuring cell and replace the glass frit. Clean the screw connection regularly. Switch on the instrument. Make sure that the compressed air supply is on. Mount the measuring cell holder in alignment with the index pin. Remove the coupling protection and the two side covers of the device. Plug the dongle into the TD1 connector for automatic measurement cell detection. Once switched on, connect the instrument with your local workstation. Start the Rio Compass software. Go to Setup, then Measuring Set Components, then Device, and select Rheometer Type. Select the type of connection. Once a connection has been successfully established, click on Use Device. Create a new configuration. Set a name and define the moving profile. Specify the device to be connected in the hardware configuration. To apply the new configuration, select Measuring Set, then Current Configuration. Perform Instrument Initialization. Navigate to the ribbon on the left side and click the My Apps icon. Create a project file by selecting Envelope Density in Anton Par Apps. Select Envelope Density Measurement on the Start screen. Weigh sample and corresponding envelope powder mass. Enter sample and powder mass. Enter the absolute density value if the porosity is to be calculated. The sample in question accounts for 25% of the total cell filling. Note that the minimum envelope powder quantity is 50 cubic centimeters for trouble-free operation. For example, enter 75 grams of envelope powder into the measuring cell. Use the provided brush to prevent powder loss. Install the powder flow cell in the measuring cell holder. Mount the measuring system. Start the measurement with continue.
After completing the reference measurement, insert the sample according to the instructions in the software. Remove the measuring system. Ensure that no powder is lost. Remove two-thirds of the envelope powder. Use tweezers or a spoon to insert the sample. Reload the previously removed powder and pour it over the sample. Cover the sample completely. For samples smaller than the reference sample, more than one sample body must be used to ensure high measurement accuracy. Avoid measuring errors caused by incorrect placement of the sample. Press Continue to finalize the measurement. Remove the powder flow cell. Use a cup and the separating sieve. Pour the entire filling of the measuring cell into the sieve. Use the brush for the final finish. The displacement powder can be reused. Check the powder for impurities before reusing it. Select Calibration Measurement to calculate the calibration factor for a specific sample type. The calibration factor is used for detailed detection of sample irregularities. In addition to the standard inputs, enter the known volume or the absolute density and porosity of the calibration sample. Start the measurement in the same sequence as standard sample measurements. Insert the calibration sample and finalize the measurement by pressing continue. The calibration sample must be made of the same material and have the same size and shape as the sample in question. Apply the calibration factor to subsequent sample measurements. Averaging the calibration factor results of multiple determinations further improves the final results. The measurement report contains all information on the measurement setup and the automatically calculated measurement results. Export the results in PDF format or simply save the measurement in the software or on the PC. Carry out a performance check by using the test template reference sample envelope density. Use 75 grams of the envelope powder to measure the supplied reference sample. Load the reference sample as instructed. Check the results in the results diagram of the measurement report. If the compression force is not sufficient or scratching noises occur, replace the compression disc of the measuring system. Enjoy the variety of rheometers from Anton Parr.